This is the DIY power station in a 50 caliber ammo can. So there's two latches over here. Um, and lift that up and there's a nice O-ring for waterproof seal. Um, this is our solar charge controller. And here's our on-off master power switch. And here's our two ports uh, to charge the unit. And here's two auxiliary output ports and a cigarette lighter port. Um, in over here, there's a little storage compartment where you have a little wall outlet um, that can charge the unit. Um, you just plug this into your wall and then you would put the black on black and red on red and it will charge it. Um, you can also take a solar panel and uh, clip off the ends and then put the two banana jack ports onto there too to charge this. Um, there's also a 200 watt uh, power inverter and this will just plug into the cigarette port and then now you have AC outlets and two additional USB ports. So underneath the unit, uh, you just uh, pick it up and there's uh, two support uh, pieces of wood to hold it stable on the batteries and keep it from falling in. Um, and then here we have uh, three batteries and a bunch of dog hair. <laughs> um, this is uh, the power inverter instruction manual. I just tossed that in there in case I ever need to reference it. Um, this is a 15 amp hour battery, and then these are two nine amp hour batteries. Uh, these ones I actually pulled out of an old broken Razor electric scooter. So this is a great project to show that you can repurpose old tech and old batteries and stuff into something usable and recycle it. Um, so these are um, wired in parallel. Um, the red goes to red to the red and then comes up here to a fuse. And this is a, a 20 amp fuse. And then that goes up to the center prong of our switch. Um, and then the black um, goes in parallel as well. And then that comes straight up into, um, this is the kind of the copper um, coated prong and um, that's our ground. And that one uh, also um, is daisy chained up directly into the negative port of the battery terminal. Um, and then there's an additional wire, um, a positive wire coming from the switch, the far side away from uh, the black ground. And then that one goes up through the hole into the positive terminal of the battery. Um, and then for these ones, uh, the positive and negative for the solar um, icon, which means charging, that those come through and then those go to our charging ports. So when you chart, when you plugged in those two prongs into here, it'll go in through the banana jack, uh, directly through these wires, and then all the way back up into the charging of the solar charge controller. Um, and then here's our load, positive and negative, and those come out through here and they come into here and they're daisy chained into this DC out banana jack and then they go into our cigarette port. Um, the DC out is for future expansions if I want to wire up like an external light bulb or some other kind of appliance. Um, but mostly you'll just, I would just charge a phone off of the USB ports on here um, and then use the power inverter uh, with the cigarette lighter. So we'll turn it on and the light will go on and then you see 
a reading of how many volts you have, your battery status and all that. Um, you, if you didn't, um, so you have to turn it on to charge the unit. And if you didn't want, it's kind of acting weird right now. I'll have to look at, I've been having a little few issues with this, um, charge controller. I actually sent in a, a replacement from Amazon because it would give me these weird readings. Usually it'll read like 13 volts or something, but now it's kind of just going crazy. Um, so there we go. So maybe that was why, because I had it, um, I had this plugged in to and it was already drawing a load as soon as it turned on. So maybe we need to turn it on and then plug in our devices. Um, but you see there's a little um, light bulb icon there. If that means that it, the battery is giving power to the load. Um, if you didn't want power out to the load, uh, just hold down that um, button and then that icon will go away. And there's no more power to the output. Uh, but just click it again and it'll go back on. Um, but now we will uh, plug this in. And I'll, um, the little light on our inverter came on and I'll plug that in and our light bulb works. So it's a great little project. Um, all fits into this little container. Um, you can seal it up. It's 100% waterproof. Um, Got little clips here if you wanted to put a little padlock on it. Um, one drawback is it is pretty heavy with those sealed lead acid, acid batteries. Um, but for a fun little DIY project, it wasn't too bad. It uh, doesn't require a lot of um, electrical knowledge. Uh, just no soldering or anything. Just use little terminals and crimp them on. Um, it was pretty fun. So. There we go.